Hello, and welcome to Investigative Math. Today, we'll be going over the second variation of sum of squares, so let's get to it. For our first problem, we have 34 squared plus 36 squared. Now, this variation is whenever you're squaring two numbers that are equidistant from a third number. So, for our first problem, 34 and 36 are both equally distant from 35. They're both one away. In our second problem, 17 squared plus 23 squared, those are both equally distant from 20. They're both 3 away. So to do this trick, first you have to take this number that's in the middle, 35, and square it. From the bump it trick, I know that this is equal to 1,225. If you're unfamiliar with bump it, I'll leave a link to that video in the description. So next, you have to square the distance from the middle number to your other numbers that are being squared. So you have to take 1 and square that as well. 1 squared is 1. Next, just add these. 1225 plus 1 is 1226. And finally, you just have to take this number and multiply it by 2. 1226 multiplied by 2 gives us 2,452. So that's going to be equal to 34 squared plus 36 squared. To recap, first you have to find the number that's equally distant between the numbers that you're squaring. 35 is exactly one away from both 34 and 36. So you have to square both of those, 35 and 1. 35 squared is 1225, I know that from the bump it trick, and 1 squared is 1. Adding these, you get 1226, and then multiply that by 2 to get 2452. Alright, for our next problem, we have 17 squared plus 23 squared. So the number halfway in between 17 and 23 is going to be 20, and 17 and 23 are both 3 away from 20. So I have to take 20 and square it, which is 400. I have to take 3 and square it, which is 9, and then add these two to get 409. Once I have this, simply multiply it by 2 to get 818. So 17 squared plus 23 squared is 818. Okay, and that does it for sum of squares part 2. Now that you have an idea of how to do this kind of question, I have provided a problem set in the description of this video for you to try a couple for yourself. If you need me to clarify anything for you, leave a comment, and I'll go back to you as soon as I can. If you enjoyed this video and found it informative, leave a like. And if you really loved it, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you later.